Hello one and welcome to my reaction to the making of Tari. Hey SMG4 fans, we have been wanting to release this video for a very long time. We are so excited cool. to finally talk about this, but basically we are going to talk all about Tari, the Meta Runner universe, the history of how yours truly came up with this entire idea because we know that a lot of you fans are very curious about it and we know that you guys want to know more about Meta Runner, which is coming later this year. And we'll be showing you the difference between SMG4 Tari and Meta Runner Tari. Let's begin with how exactly Tari was born. Our little sister, who was like 12 years old at the time, was doodling in a book. We also that like, you have any ideas for like new characters for SMG4? Yeah, because at the time we wanted to introduce new characters, right? And so she drew like a gamer girl. She dubbed her name Tari. Yep, so this was our little sister, just her doodles of just kind of- Holy Jesus, she can draw good. I wish I had such talent. That's, that's very really cool. 12, was 12 years old? Yeah. Um, as you can tell, like, sh this is Tari in a very, very early stages. She, she was meant to be a 100% a robot. Yeah, she had, like, a Bomberman antenna, yeah. headphones and stuff. And uh, sh her jacket was very, very simple. It was just, like, the basic, uh, it was a hoodie just with a love heart on it. It was really, really simple. And, uh, she had a D-pad on her eye. Uh, yeah. Uh, you oh, my goodness. Seeing this, man, we've come so <laughs> far. There have been so, there've literally been so many iterations of Tari before we got to where she is now. Yeah. So this is the actual... It's so cute! Ah! Yeah, so as you can see, she, her jacket was completely different. It just had a, like a eight bit heart on it. Yeah, and she had a Tari uh, stitched on the back. Yeah. Um, and she, we were going, she was going for this whole uh, Raymond feel, yeah. like the floating head. So yeah. a lot of the stuff you can tell straight away, we kept like the blue hair, um, the sandal, the, the sandals, sandals. We had to keep the sandals. Oh, absolutely. This was the foundation of Tari, and this was our inspiration for yeah. not just Tari, but also Meta Runner. Do you guys remember the Ultimate Gamer episode yeah. where, with SMG4 and Tari, where Tari was basically introduced? Yeah. That episode was in our back of our minds for over a year. That was meant to happen a long time ago, but we just... Yeah, but we just kept pushing it back because we wanted it to be right. The episode used to be completely different. Right, Mario would have found Tari in, like, the back of the castle in a garbage dump. Yeah. And Mario was like, what are you doing here? And, and the whole premise of the, the original episode we had was Mario was going to do an eSports competition yeah. and he needed a trainer and that's where Tari was going to yeah. be. And b b at that time, Tai was purely just a robot. She wasn't a cyborg girl she is now. This is originally what we had um, 3D modeled for Tari. Right? Looks cool. She has all these expressions. Yeah. Like she has the blue hair, she has the headphones, but she was just purely a robot at the time. We were talking, we were like, maybe she should be a character, and that's when we did it. Alright, first of all, yeah, let's look at this. <laughs> Kevin drew that, by the way. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even understand no why. Theo. Oh, this is meant to be Theo. Put up a photo of Theo. <laughs> this was us screwing around. Yeah, Kevin drew me. But this is just me trying to redraw Tari. Ooh, anime. <laughs> And uh, I used to draw a lot of anime when I was younger, so... I What's was that like, in the bag? Like this, and we were just playing around with the idea of like, what she could potentially look like. Yeah, from there we had our sisters drawing, but we were like... Kev, let's make a series with this character. Yeah, I, I don't even know if one thing led to another. <coughs> Basically, in the end, we were like, let's just make an animation series. Let's do it. How hard could it be? Oh, man. It's really? extremely hard to make an animation series. We don't know anything about the industry and just we went in anyway. We dove right into it. It cost us so much money, so much time and so much of our health to get to where we are now. Just because we had no idea, we had no experience at all. Yeah. But we've learned so much from this. And basically the next steps from that was we got a concept artist. Yeah. His name's Jared. Jared Boy. Shout out to Jared. Shout out to our boy Jared. And basically... We got him, we showed him this very preliminary concept of time. What was it? We were like, oh, let's let's make her a bit more human. Yeah. Or like, let's make her a bit more like, I guess, uh, let's change the style. Let's play around with the style and see if we can get something we like, right? Yeah. Remember how we hired him? It was like, we gave him a test to draw Tari. Yes, this, this one. This is the image that got him hired. Okay, yeah, so this is our boy Jared. We gave him that original art. And so this is Tari version 1.5. 1.5 basically this is what Tari looked like was going to look like next um this is the metal hand he was playing around with i think you recognize the one on the left a little bit yeah i, I fell in love with this design for Tari. at this point we were just focusing on Tari for met uh for meta runner yeah. 
at this point we weren't focusing on SMG4 Tide because we were, we were so into yeah. making our own original series. So what happened was the Metal so Runner Tide came before SMG4 Tide. Then we had what? Uh, Just a few that. more. This, we had Tide 1.6. No, really. So this is like Metaton, Metaton uh, Tide. Like Metaton. Put up a picture of Metaton. Same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we had this version, a more human version of Tide. We're like, oh, let's play around with her as a human. Imagine if she had a ponytail. Yeah. And we had this version. This was it a was cyborg Tide. If you remember in the original concept art, she had like a D-pad for an eye. This was like uh, our artist trying to transpose that into this. We didn't keep it, unfortunately, because it just looked too robotic. Yeah. And so we had a lot of iterations of Tari. Metaton. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of iterations of Tide. We oh, also what, what singlet design, uh, singlet and shirt, de uh, jumper, the hoodie design as well. And so this is the concept art of Tari that we ended on, and we are so happy. Awesome. We, we just saw it and we were like, this is it. But I'm really happy with it. I need to really quickly mention that the hoodie didn't always look like the one you see now. Oh uh, yeah, the hoodie definitely changed. Originally, we went, we rolled with this design of just the blue hoodie with yeah. the red heart on it. And we really liked it. This is just a very early render of Tari. Uh, this is us playing around with uh, the, 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 the design. Yeah. Basically, the whole, Tari's whole design was blue here. Yeah, so you'll notice that a, a lot of these characters in Meta Runner are based around motifs of the... Yeah, and that was the whole idea that we wanted to do on Tari's was Blue Jade because she was like sort of shy, sort of quiet. Yeah. This is where this thing came from. This is like a Blue Jay's wing. Yeah. And Looks this is cool. basically Tari's emblem. This is Meta Runner's, this is the symbol for Meta Runner. Yeah, yeah and this is the Tari's hoodie design that we ended up uh, transforming it into. So Blue Jay, once again. Yeah, Everything looks see, awesome. Like, there's a lot of emotion into it. And so basically, from there, we we're toiling away, introducing Tari into this universe, into Meta Runner. A universe completely dominated by video games with this one character who is a meta runner who are people with modified cyborg arms used to speed run and be really good at esports yeah. who is introduced into this world and sort of has no memories and like figuring stuff out and i think at that point we we're trying to figure out how exactly can we get our current fan base you guys right yeah. now you lovely lovely audience members to uh like this character bear touch we didn't bear touch strange ranger yeah, like without saying anything in like <coughs> oh well not like, really strange ranger they're not asking for where the, the memes where's the spicy jokes yeah. yeah to warm up Tai to the fans we wanted her to put her into smg4 before meta runner and i honestly strongly resonate with the character we came up with Tai, like this sort of shy gamer girl yeah gamer gaming person who just loves playing games not really good socializing because that was me to a T. That was us yeah. when we were teenagers. A lot of people, yeah. Yeah, and I think that, that she resonates. I raise my hand here. Like, me too. Oh, this me too. So well in SMG4. I think she'd like interact with Mario and the rest of the, the crowd really well. She'd get along I with the kids very fine. They'd be good friends. And so we got our concept artist. Anime. <laughs> oh. And if you guys ever heard of Puyo Puyo Tetris, that was yep. the theme for the art style. That was oh, the inspiration yeah. for the art style. Yeah, I know that, I know that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, definitely looks like that. that we awesome. Into. So, starting from the beginning, we wanted a new character Bring named Tari. <coughs> Sorry. But then we got the idea to put her into a series named Meta Runner. Yep, and that's when we came up Meta Runner Tari. And then finally, we, were, we went full circle and like, let's put her back into SMG4. Yeah. And that's where we ended up with this SMG4 Tari. Uh, a big thing awesome. that we wanted to talk about as well yeah. was basically how are we going to make sure that you guys know that SMG4 Tari is very different from Metal Tari? Because they do look different, but they still have like very similar powers and stuff like that. And so that's why uh, when we originally released the trailer, we wanted to say to you guys, like just straight from the get go, that Tari, SMG4 Tari is very different. Um, she's from a different universe to Metal Tari. Yeah, but the personalities are very similar. Absolutely, like the Metal Tari. Uh, when the series release, the Meta Run Atari you will see is still gonna be shy, quirky, loving games as the SMG4 Atari you guys have all come to love. So basically, that's everything surrounding Atari that we want to quickly talk about. But we also want to have this time to talk about Meta Runner as well and the new characters yeah. that you guys will come to hopefully love and meet. We got your boy Theo here. He is a coconut boy who loves platforming, loves jumping, yeah. loves having a great time. When you guys see him in Meta Runner, he, he should remind you of a little certain spaghetti-loving friend. <laughs> yeah, just, I will quickly show you the concept art behind him and how he, he came to be. So we'll start off with this one. This is what he originally looked like. Oh, God. Um, he, we, again, we went for the Mario proportions, but then we, we played around with, with him. 
don't know why we gave him that weird hat at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he went through many different variations. He turned into this guy. I like this. I like the one, the very bottom one. He looks like Oma. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks like <laughs> <Oma. laughs> uh, We played around with a lot of concepts with Theo. We ended up on this character. And I think that guy is... Top right. Then I'm the fun Jojo reference. And uh, together with Tari, they just make such a funny duo together. And that will really come alive in Meta Runner. So Tari makes Theo. They have a lot of fun together. But then... Of course, with with these special abilities. He's just a bad guy. Yep. And first and foremost, we have Belle. Belle Fontier. Belle Fontier. Belle is a character. She is also a meta runner in the universe, and she it will be basically Tari's rival throughout all of this. She's extremely competitive, and the fact that Tari has these abilities makes. So she's like. I I, I'm just gonna take a gander. I really hope she's not even she's just probably just like very competitive and like rivalry but like what are we gonna be hopefully nice to, uh sort of resent her in a way um, because tari is like she, she came into this world knowing nothing and she's already she has these all these powers and is already in the game and if you can tell uh, her designs center around a phoenix personality polar opposite yeah uh, and i there's so much it's so much fun when they're in the room together it, there was so much so like Tari's is shy and not and like uh what's it called in in introvert introverted yes uh, so she's gonna be like well the opposite of shy whatever that is <laughs> i don't know the uh, word for that and uh next word gonna be my guess i know much fun to write because like Belle is sort of like this snappy in your face kind of girl and Tari is really shy and just together it's hilarious and finally we have Belle's boss Lux yeah and Lux basically wants to capture Tari and get her abilities there's a lot more involved there's so much more involved with this evil guy. That, but this is all we can tell you for now but it's so exciting guess is uh the, the boy is the evil guy and I forgot her name. Uh, the, the Phoenix gal uh, gonna be his uh, sidekick in in, uh, in quotes uh, quote, uh, quote unquote side sidekick and um, please hope what I'm gonna guess she's gonna go over to the good side help uh, Tari because Tari doesn't deserve to get captured and shit. Don't worry. When we when Metal Runner releases, all will be revealed. The law is incredibly incredibly deep. Um, and it's gonna be so much fun and I think you guys will really enjoy it. We're slated for 10 episodes, each ranging from about 12 to 15 minutes long. Set for a release date around June 20. Only 10, oh, season one, all right. Season one gets 10 episodes, all right. This project we've been working on has been going on for like one and a half years now, I think. And so what? we've always wanted to make a series and I've always <sighs> dreamt of just making a series that could create a community of fans that just love what they love what they watch and want to share art and jokes and all that kind of stuff together Th that's really true actually like we're working more or less on just making series but more on making stuff that actually brings the entire community together right luke loves looking at fan art he loves i love waiting. fan art you're waiting for the day you see uh meta runner cosplay as well cosplay fan art look it's anything i'm happy like it's what i it's what i live on you know with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned a lot more about Tai and look forward to more videos like this in the future. And if you want to support us, please just send us fan art, follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Just share the share the trailer. Yeah, um, we have a meta runner uh social media account on Twitter, Instagram now. Follow us at, at glitch underscore prod as well. Um, these two accounts will be mostly sharing art. Meta runner will be the main one we share all like fan art and Tai fan art yeah. on. Uh, but for go to glitch prod for all these updates all, all your updates please and the other way you can support us is also to go check out the meta runner trailer yeah um, we'll share it if you've seen it and, and share it and just spread the word about meta runner because it, this is going to be so big i think this is going to be huge on youtube and we're so glad that you you guys are going to be the first ones to experience this you get to in, go along on the ride with us thank you so much smg4 Seems cool. thank you so much fans. Um, and look forward to it bye bye guys i will Alright. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's it and uh
Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, so yeah. That's that. And uh, see ya.